What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today is a very quick video, relatively speaking, for this channel because I've been hustling very hardcore on getting designcourse.com ready, which is coming in four days. So the topic of this video, there's something wrong about the alignment specifically with each one of these examples. And so I'm going to show you how you can improve the alignment and the overall layout with each of these three examples. And this is something I see often when I'm doing my live reviews at least two or three times per review. So hope, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to help put a, an end a little bit at least to this sort of practice in terms of the alignment that is incorrect that we see here. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe, check out designcourse.com and let's get started. All right, so here's the first example, uh, two column approach. And we can see on the right column, we have an illustration. And then on this middle column here, we have just three elements that are center line being this arrow, headline, and then a description. Um, actually, this is probably the least egregious of the examples I'm talking about. This is actually not bad at all, but I think, especially just for personal tastes, um, to help really define the column that's situated right here, let me just replicate this, I, we could take an approach like this. So we're gonna take both of the type elements, right align them, and we'll also take this element right here and put it roughly right around there. All right, so what's happened here is, uh, if we hit Shift R to get our, our rollers, we can see now we have a nice line that's been defined, or a column rather, right here. You really don't have that in this example simply because of the nature of text and the, the varying letter count of words. It goes in, out, in, 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 out. And for me personally, I really like the look of having something much more structured like this. We can even structure it a little bit more literally by dragging up this little arrow. And now it feels, if you compare both of them, and looks like an actual rigid layout, whereas this one is just kind of randomly placed in the center here. Um, it becomes way more obvious in this example. So right here, again, two column approach. Uh, if we get our, our rulers here, we can see from the very uh, left edge of the first column to the very right edge, uh, the two pieces of text are left aligned. Uh, and then we have these little status icons which are going from the very left to the very right. So this first column is a very rigid, well-defined column. Uh, and we can see it even when we take away the rulers, shift R, they just go straight up and straight down. So this alignment is very good. Now in this example, uh, in the second column, this is exactly, I, I see this a lot. We're mixing and matching uh, text alignment. So this is left aligned, but then right next to it, right adjacent to it, is a bunch of sender aligned elements. And that's a big no. So how will we fix this? Let's go ahead and replicate this. We'll take these uh, two paragraphs, left align them, left align that, put this over here, maybe drag that a little bit closer, and now it is much better. As you can see, just in terms of having a nice rigid column, the layout seems to flow better, and it's also more consistent because this here has been left aligned and adjacent to it, you, this as well is going to be left aligned, and it just looks so much better. Um, again, if we bring out the rollers, we can see now we also have a nice column that's defined for our second column rather than this wishy-washy situation over here where you have kind of a column that's established by the beginning of the logo. You have another one that's established kind of right here. Then you have another one that is established by this right here. So this, as you can see, especially as illustrated by the rulers and the guides, that it, it's just, it's, it's much more consistent and simple. So I always advocate that. And we'll take a look at one more example of this. I, I see this a lot um, in contact forms. Sometimes people will, will put uh, in the second column, maybe having not necessarily everything just centered, but having two columns within a column. Uh, and we can greatly simplify this. I also see another thing, which is kind of an aside note, um, having a secondary headline like this completely doesn't make sense. So let me show you what I'm talking about there. So this right here, given that it says this is a message to me, clearly this is, this is a contact form. Anybody can see that. Um, we don't need to have other contact. We don't need that other 
uh, headline right there because it just it, it it's the, the context is there already that this is just another form of contact and you're just cluttering up the layout. Um, and so in terms of alignment, again, instead of having, for instance, if we go over here, this and this, we can simplify this much, much, much more by simply having this. All right, so if I get rid of the rulers, I this is much more simplistic because again, we're not adding these extra columns unnecessarily. Um, and also just for readability, usability purposes, I it's a lot easier to scan down rather than it is to scan right when you have these sort of bullet point items. All right, and so that is the very quick video for today. Hopefully you could see the difference between these. Again, this one, Arguably, I would not have a problem if somebody did this, uh, but for me personally, I do like to have a nice, rigid, solid, well-defined layout, and this I, is definitely an improvement in that regard. This right here, again, I see this all the time. Don't mix and match your uh, text alignment here from a left line to center align, especially if they're close to each other or adjacent to each other, because then it creates a real visual inconsistency in the same view. All right, awesome stuff.